Today we're going to look at a DIY EVAP smoke machine. I did a video on this on my other channel and it was pretty raw and uncut and a lot of people are offended because of the swearing. So this is going to be the clean version. This is a Chauvet Hurricane 700 smoke machine. You can get this off Amazon or eBay for about 35, 40 bucks. And the solution it has is a water-based solution. Now I've used this in previous videos on my BMW, I've used it on Jeeps, and I've never had an issue ruining the sensors. But as always, if you're going to go this route, use at your own risk. So in the original version I did, I tried using regulated air, and I tried all these things in the video, and nothing really worked. But what I did come down to, what did work, is that I got my hose right here, and what I did, I got a copper piece on the end. And it doesn't matter, as long as it's metal or some sort, because your smoke's going to come out of here. So what you want to do is you want to hold the metal piece in front there. So when, so when you press the trigger on the remote, it's going to shoot smoke through it. Now it gets hot coming out here, and this tube is going to get soft. So you got to be careful of that, because it does come out hot, and you may burn yourself. But it will create some smoke. So what we're going to do, we're going to plug this in. Let it get warmed up. I got this old Chevy 350 engine here that we're going to hook it up. And what we're going to do is that it's going to be hooked up to the carburetor so it goes to the engine. So, I got the PCV valve out. And that's going to simulate a big vacuum leak. So, we're going to fire the machine up, get it heated up, hook it up. So, you can see exactly how the smoke machine will work. And smoke should come out of there. Or probably some other spots too. Because, who knows what kind of... Uh, issues this engine has. So I got my hose running into the carburetor, I got the bag and stuff on it that's kind of help try to prevent a lot of the smoke from coming out, try to keep it in the engine. And I got the smoke machine just right down there, just waiting for it to heat up. It probably takes about five to ten minutes before it's ready to go. You can already see there is some smoke starting to come out the end, but the ready light isn't on the remote yet. So once that's ready, I got my drift camera right there. We'll fire it up and show you how this works. Well, let's just run some test smoke. As you can see, it puts up quite a bit of smoke there. So hopefully you'll be able to see in the video. I'm going to hook up the line in front here. So you can see the smoke building out of that valve cover right there. So that's how a $35, $40 smoke machine can save you a lot of money to find your own vacuum leaks. This came in handy when I was working on my BMW E46 because I had a secondary lean code bank 1 and 2 and my fuel trims were way out to lunch and the engine was running like crap and I couldn't figure out what the hell was going on because I did a lot of work to it and it turned out when I installed the valve cover it kind of got rolled over in a section so it was letting in a ton of unmetered air which was triggering a code to make it run richer because the engine thought it was running leaner but there you have it Chauvet Hurricane 700 cheap way to do a smoke test on your engine if you guys have any questions or comments post them below otherwise thanks for watching